This is how to program the Resonant Light ProGen 2 function generator. When it's first turned on, and let me go ahead and do that, I, I have this powered by the Perl. So when you turn this on just to program and ensure that you don't have the tube on, in other words, do not fire the ignition, just leave it off. All we're doing is programming, we're not running it. So, as I mentioned in the last video, to the resonant light comes pre-programmed with 25 banks. And in the manual, it shows which banks are programmed into it. Bank 1, 2, and it goes all the way through 25, and it gives all the parameters for the Pro Jam, which it needs for every step. For example, here's level 1. It's running a single frequency, 10,000 hertz, no width. Num total number of frequencies run. There's only one because there's no width. It gives the total time in seconds and whether the pulse is on or not and what the pulse rate is. For general use, you are always going to use a pulse and you're always going to use a pulse rate of one. Uh, just the fact that you have a pulse and a pulse rate of one makes it well, it's thought to make it more effective. And w once you get advanced, you might experiment with various pulse rates. But for now, this is fine. Pulse is on, pulse rate is one. What we're going to do here is program a custom bank. Use the same format, and I'll try to put this format up in a link for that the resonant light uses because this is the order that they are going to be ordered or entered into the ProGen. Same parameters going across. This one gives a little bit of description here. And so, unlike the single frequency the other one started with, this starts with spread contracting, which is another thing that would typically be used, <coughs> excuse me, and gives the base, the width, the spread contracting means that this is going to start on 163 hertz, then it's going to go to 157, then it's going to go to 162, then 159, and 160. So the total number of frequencies run is 7. That with a width of 3 means it starts frequencies in the center, starts here, goes there, and contracts in. That's thought to help prevent uh, 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 pathogen mutations. So first we're going to turn it on by just turning on the power to the pearl with no ignition. We don't want the tube lit. This device already has bank number 37 programmed into it. Uh, you can overwrite banks that are already in there, but what might happen is, for example, you had a bank in there which had 20 frequencies in there and you're overriding that and you only do the first 10 for you, you only have a set with 10 frequencies in there, it's going to leave those other 10, the remaining ones that you don't overwrite in the back. So the best thing to do if you're programming a new bank is just to erase the bank. So, run bank, program bank, manual entry, erase bank. That's what we want is number four. We're going to Erase a bank, number 37, and this is the yes no button, or yes button, and it's saying hit pound to confirm, hit star to abort, we, yes we really are sure we want to erase bank 37, and it's such a pain to enter these things, you can see why this is necessary, because I'd hate to erase one by mistake. So, I erased bank number 37. Now, let's program bank 37. Number two is program bank. Select bank 37. Enter. Select level. Well, you're always going to start with level one, but this is actually kind of helpful for editing in case you have a pre-existing bank in there and you just want to uh, edit a level because you put it in there incorrectly. Select level one. Okay, single frequency, bank 37, level 1. We don't want a single frequency, so we want a wave packet. Enter. 
we want a spread enter we want contracting enter and as you can see I'm hitting the one it's it'd be either be the one or the two to change these but would this that will typically be the mm, first few steps you've used it will be a wave packet it will be a contracting spread so now it's asking for the base which means the base frequency of 160 Hertz in this case so 160 enter width as we saw before with this three enter and these fields are just for uh, information right here they are not going to be entered in there but it makes sense to put them there just to give you some <clears throat> data on how long it's used to compute how long the set will last down here anyway asking for how long this is going to run uh, this says total time in seconds 210 but this is looking for it in minutes so we're gonna have to convert that to two and a half minutes so we're gonna say O two thirty. enter pulsing off no we want pulsing on change it with that hit enter pulse rate one Hertz is the default hit enter always square wave yes duty cycle 50% that's fine <clears throat> input always positive let it default okay we have programmed one level of one bank and as you can see this is not something you want to do on a regular basis but if you need a set in there once you put it in there it's there forever until you override it so I am going to pause and go ahead and enter the rest of these frequencies but actually I see I made a mistake on this pain bio basic I was supposed to have a pulse rate of four so let's first go and try to edit this I'm selecting level one I'm gonna hit enter okay we already have wave packets already have spread contracting already have the base in there I'm kind of just hitting enter 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 as it's going through here and we'll, We'll wait, okay, it lasted two and a half minutes. Pulsing on, up, ah, pulse rate. We actually want four. Answer. Square wave, 50%, <clears throat> positive, good. Now we're on to level two. So I will program the rest of these in there and come back when I'm putting number 10 in. Now back after programming bank 37. I had not programmed one of these in many years and discovered a few things that I misstated earlier. One that, this is a really dumb mistake, 210 seconds is actually three and a half minutes, not two and a half minutes as I stated before. So I went back into all these, edited those to make them three and a half minutes and as you can see down here these are three minutes. Another thing I misstated on how this runs a spread contracting is that it would start at 163 actually it starts at 157 so it starts low it goes 157 163 158 162 you know and so and so until it gets to your know, centers on 160 but let's go ahead and look at how I program the last step or better yet how we could edit this file if I suspected I made a mistake like I made in there earlier so to edit one of these steps in here let us say that just on this very on level number seven I put two and a half instead of three and a half minutes so let's go back and edit level seven wait till we get the program bank this will not erase it we're just going through the programming mode and we can sit here and hit this pound button to step through everything and we can sit there and review each level okay but we really want to go directly to level seven so let's go to level seven 
and we are going to pretend that we had two and a half instead of three and a half minutes in there and let's say let's pretend there was a hundred or two minutes two and a half minutes in there and let's go ahead and pretend that was in there <clears throat> let's go back and re-edit that go to level seven step through till we get to that point and we make it three notice that I have to put the zero three in there and for the pulse rate this is this is an unusual set in that it uses these funny pulse rates of four and two now those may be more effective in some cases in this set it does appear to be more effective which is why it was put in here but when you are entering a pulse rate notice there's three zeros and a two you can't just enter unlike the frequency to enter because it thinks you're trying to enter 2002 hertz and that's not capable of doing that so we can say zero 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 and let's mess up and say four up oh, I messed up it should have been two zero 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 two you can edit that while you're on it so that's pretty much it enter 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 and since we're done programming we can hit the exit button and the star button will serve as the exit button exit back here now another note about running the progen let's pretend we're going to run well let's go ahead and run this bank number 37 so run bank which is number one enter what i'm sorry enter bank 37 start level one yes no additional bank beep when done yes okay now it's running 157 this is one of those frequencies since it's not a high frequency it might lead to some problems in starting the tube so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the ignition switch you can't see me hit the ignition switch here but up uh, it started right up anyway but this might have been one of the situations where you would want to run your finger along that to get it to go if it did not come on immediately so this is actually running now and let's see how we can stop and start programs while we're running the project To pause it, we hit the star button. Goes in the standby mode. Now, just because it's in standby doesn't mean the tube is going to be turned off. Because, as you can see, the tube is still on, but it's not pulsing. So, we would come back here to resume hit this and it even says hit pound to resume hit star for menu star for menu means you're pretty much aborting the program going to start over again but let's resume and we're starting to run again so if we want to stop the program we're done finishing early don't want to let it stop on its own. Don't want to let it finish running its program. We hit this. Hit, hit it again for menu. And it has stopped running. Then we would come over here. Turn off the ignition. And if we're done using it, turn off the power. And that's it.